Hey, what is up guys, Garrick here and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how, I, how to do this um, ghost looking text inside of After Effects. So um, I already made this ghost text as a preview for you guys to see. Um, with a bunch of effects as you can see I used some CC Smear, White Time, Vegas, Deep Pro Time, Warp RGB and Signal. Some of those are plugins, some of them aren't, like CC Smear and White Time, you'd find them inside of After Effects. So start by typing out um, a text. I'll just position the text in the middle of the screen. Now as CC Smear. CC Smear is the effect that we're going to be using to smear the text. So as you can see, um, I'm not going to explain much into the effect. I'll just show, be showing you the basics of it. So you just set the from where you want the base of the smear to be. Let's say we want to smear the R. You set the from on the R. And let's say we want to smear the R upwards. So you set the two above the R. What's that gonna do is smear the R upwards as you can see and with the reach you could animate the smear with the reach and the radius is how big the smear is. So I'll just animate this, set a keyframe, move it upwards and then set the first keyframe to zero and then hop on the graph editor and then just animate it until it looks good. And obviously guys, you don't have to stick to the stuff that I'm doing, you could also animate the radius if you think that's gonna look good, or maybe even the position. So now I'll change the smear a bit, um, I animated both the reach and the radius, from 0 to about 600, and the radius from 80 to about 70. We already have the base of the text, now we're gonna be adding some smudges to the smear. And for this, we're gonna be using CC white time. So add up CC white time and just increase the value. As you can see, if you increase the value, it adds just like this decayed motion blur to the text, which is very good. Now we just gotta stylize it with other effects. So from now on, you just you don't have to follow up with me. I'll just be adding some random effects to make it look better. So I'm gonna start up with adding some deep glow to add glow to the text and add an adjustment layer, add noise. Again, I'll be using Vegas. I think Vegas is a plugin, so not everybody's gonna have Vegas. Obviously, you can get it off of the internet somewhere or purchase it. But um, so Vegas is another really cool effect. As you can see, it adds those animated out outlines to the text. I'll be adding time of RGB to add some RGB to the text. It's a Sapphire plugin. As you can see, it looks very good with the blue outlines at the end. So that's it for the tutorial. I'm not gonna add way too many effects and mess with the actual base of the text. Obviously, aside from all the effects that you're gonna be adding, you still want your text to be legible and for others to be able to read it. So I think this is gonna be good. As you can see, this mirror actually looks good. And so that's it. Again, if you want the template or the exact same settings and effects that I used, Make sure to go and join up my Patreon for only three bucks you could access all the project files. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and like. And other than that, stay safe. Peace out.